Supplies. For this lab you'll need four 2 inch by 4 inch pieces of foam core, a 2 and a half inch square piece of foam core, rolls of duct tape and masking tape, a recordable CD, a ruler, two razor blades, and a box cutter. Step 1. Assembling the spectroscope tube. First, use the masking tape to assemble a hollow tube out of the four 2 inch by 12 inch pieces of foam core. Only a small amount of tape is required to hold the pieces together. However, gaps are clearly visible at the joints between pieces. These gaps will need to be covered to prevent light from entering the tube from the sides. Use pieces of duct tape to completely cover each of the four joints. The duct tape will strengthen the tube and prevent ambient light from leaking into the spectrometer. After applying a couple of layers of duct tape, your completed tube should look similar to this. The joints should be completely covered with duct tape, and no light should enter through the sides of the tube. Step 2. Making the optical entrance slit. Use the box cutter to cut a 1 inch square hole into the center of the 2.5 inch square piece of foam core. Remove the protective cardboard from the two razor blades. Next. Place the razor blades over the hole with the sharp edges facing each other. Use a piece of masking tape to secure one of the razor blades to the piece of foam core. Cut out two small pieces from a printer transparency and place them on top of each other. Use the transparencies to space the two razor blades. The thickness of the two transparencies will be equal to the slit width of the spectrometer. Once the second razor blade is in position, use a piece of tape to secure it to the foam core. Tape over the razor blades with a second layer of duct tape. Take care not to cover the slit. Now, tape the slit cover to the end of the foam core tube. Apply a second or third layer of duct tape to firmly attach the slit cover and to prevent light from entering through the joints. Light should only enter the tube through the slit. Step 3. Preparing the CD diffraction grating. Place the recordable CD onto a table. Label side facing up. Use a razor blade to cut the outer perimeter of the CD along the edge of the reflective metal foil. Next, cut along the inner perimeter of the foil. Now, apply duct tape to the back of the CD. For best results, cover the entire surface with tape. Peel off the tape to remove the metal backing. This will expose the grooves that make up the recording track of the CD. Use a pair of scissors to cut a quarter section out of the CD. Next, place the section of CD on the open end of the foam core tube. The foil side of the CD should be facing the inside of the tube. This will protect the CD surface from smudges. Orient the CD so that its tracks run parallel to the slit at the opposite side of the tube. Once the CD is in the proper position, attach it to the tube using masking tape. Finish the spectroscope by trimming the protruding edges from the CD and taping the perimeter with duct tape. Your spectroscope is now ready for use. Step 4. Using a cell phone camera to measure spectra. Virtually any camera can be used to measure spectra using your spectroscope. Ideally, for quantitative measurements, the camera should allow manual control of focus, exposure time, and white balance. Most mobile phones have integrated cameras with high enough resolution to obtain nanometer scale spectral resolution. Locate the camera on your phone and launch the phone's relevant image capture program. 
Now, place the camera flush against the CD diffraction grating. Holding the camera against the grating is important for achieving consistent results. Aim the spectrometer at a light source, such as a fluorescent bulb. You should see the slit in the center of the image. Move the spectrometer until the slit overlaps with the light source. The spectrum will appear to the side of the slit. Once you've obtained a clean spectrum, take a snapshot. Here we see the spectrum from a fluorescent light bulb. Now you can use your spectrometer to capture spectra from virtually any visible source, such as a white LED, or a red laser. Please see the course website for further instructions on how to calibrate your spectrometer and take quantitative spectral measurements.